What's happening, people? I hope you are well and welcome into full credit to the boys. And uh, I know you guys are excited and happy, elated with another back to back win. And uh, I am as well. And so is my co host, Ash. How are you doing, brother? Welcome in. Always good, man. Always good. This is awesome, bro. Just to come off another win and uh, talk some positivity around the team. And um, yeah. And shout out to freaking Nanad in the chat, bro. Go the Dragons. Nah, come on, man. Get out of that, head, head. brother. Not today. <laughs> You're on your uh, welcome in, brother. From yeah, and everyone on from Ash Thomas uh, YouTube channel. Welcome in. Uh, welcome in, Jacko. Welcome in, my man. Uh, Forty home field advantage. Got the dub. I'm sure you were out there today, man. But welcome in, everyone. Jazz Tomatia, Marley McClay. Um, who else we got in here? I know the Philip Titai. Uh, everyone's been lighting up the chat even before we got in here, so we know everyone's pumped. <laughs> uh, but we appreciate you guys all coming in uh, from all angles and all places. And everyone on Instagram, we know you guys are there. Um, we unfortunately can't get to all your comments, but we see you. But if you want to come and share a comment, come and drop it on. The, I've put, pinned it in the comment section to come over here to Wise Up TV on YouTube and share your thoughts there. But welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. Hope you guys are well. Um, yes. Massive talking points um, to go over tonight. Uh, we'll break it down as we go, guys, and we'll try and get your comments up. Me and Ash will talk through things, and then we'll get to your comments as well. Um, Daniel Berry, good morning. Where are you from, sir? Constantly, uh, <laughs> let us know where you are from the chat, brother, but we appreciate you coming in. And everyone <laughs> in from X as well. Thank you all for coming in as well. Uh, we'll get to your comments, guys. We appreciate you in, being in here, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll get that going. So, um, yeah, bro, start us off. Um, uh, Ash, man, what, you, what was your thoughts on the game? Yep. Um, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, uh, solid performance overall. You know, it was good to see the boys get through uh, our work. Uh, it was a little bit tougher. I felt like the Knights actually, you know, played probably one of their better games uh, for the season overall. Maybe their best game for the season overall in this one. Uh, Ponga looked damaging even though he didn't get amazing service all the time but um i thought that we held in really really strong we got through our game plan obviously with our mets going down pretty early in this game we had a bit of a reshuffle it's just i, I keep going back to it. i feel like sometimes bro we become the unluckiest team in the competitions i don't, I don't know what it is uh, but it's good to see the boys shake the monkey off the back and um continue on and get a good win for us at home obviously and get that you know, back to back, man. That's always good. And we're in the eight yep. now, currently, by the looks of it. So unless yep. he's, I think the Raiders might pump us out. Nah, we'll be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very nice, very nice. Um, now pregame, man. Where were you at pregame? I mean, for myself, I thought this was a game that I was adding in the Adam O'Brien effect, where you know they weren't settled on their halves. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was thinking thirteen plus didn't end up that way, and it wasn't a game that we kind of got away. It yeah. was always kind of within the balance. Uh, where were you pre-game in your in your view of how we might play and how the game might end up? Yeah, I was very much set on uh, looking that we probably get on a big scoreline and that. Um, obviously, you know, before a game, every game, I always get a little bit of nerves and all that. Um, it dies down a lot more from the years past, you know what I mean? Years past with the Warriors, you just don't know what you're going to get. But um, the last couple of years have been very sturdy and that. So I went in a little bit confident thinking that we could get a decent scoreline on them and that. Um, just obvious circumstances that weren't able to be 
Um, we saw a little bit of momentum and all that during the game that we had spurts where we, again, we look like we can build on something special. Um, it's just, we're going to have to do that for longer periods, but yeah, before the game, bro, I was fairly confident thinking that, you know, the, the <clears throat> Knights halves merry-go-round would give us a little bit of a, um, a confidence booster to get into this game and put some points on. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, it was, um, I thought, um, cr credit to the Knights. I thought played a really mm. good game again. Um, a very tight game. I thought defensively they had us covered in a lot of our attacking shape. Um, you know, I, I just thought it was it was a really good game by them. I think Ponga, world class um, yeah, performance. Understand. You can just see the quality and if you you know, and, and what he's able to do and attack and and so no, it was it was a really good game. Um, let's go from um, the start in terms of uh, first half thoughts. Yep. Um, Kind of, um, we started off pretty well. I mean, I mean, if overall in the whole game it was twenty-two to twenty-three completed sets in the first half, I believe. Um, yep, pretty sure that's where we kind of was, ended it. There. And it felt as though we were just in a really good roll space. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the the first start the start was good, um, and then um, the I think it was pretty much. Um, yeah, the, the let's 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 do it now. The Metcalf injury, what what a what a shock to the system. Yeah, um, man, and, and what's your thoughts on it now? We've we've heard it's a shin break. Yep. Um, NRL physio guys, I know you guys in the chat are saying what what is the latest. Ash, can you just give a quick debrief on what the NRL physio guy was saying? Yeah, yeah. So pretty much, uh, he was kind of like all, of examination. So NRL physio obviously watches the games and stuff like that, and just goes off examination and what he can see. Obviously, he can't do a proper, you know, like check and all that. But um, if it is to be a fractured shin, which is by the looks of it, apparently, uh, the best case scenario I'm pretty sure I saw up on his post was six weeks. Uh, worst case scenario, if it's a really uh, awkward fracture, apparently, yeah, it can get up to ten to twelve. So. Um, hoping you know fingers crossed that it is just more so uh you know the six weeks um with a standard little fracture um but yeah we're just gonna have to wait and find out i guess and uh, yeah just really shocked the system shout out to mets man like the injury tolls and all that i think the best news out of it all though you know if you want to get a little bit of you know shining light out of it it wasn't like a, a muscle injury uh he didn't pull like a hammy he didn't do anything like that it was a contact injury because frizzell hit him with some force in that tackle man so shout out to mets uh hope he's doing well out there yeah 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 no we hope so um yeah and i think um we were threatening i mean those bombs from the start i mean barry nearly scored the try um mm. off that catch that would have been great i thought barry if we just quickly glance over his game what a game from awesome. him again yep. um just asserting himself uh, you know yeah. and his confidence um the juggling act how good yeah. is that <laughs> yeah that was yeah there was there was it could have been it, it, it look if you i thought maybe if they break the tape down a little bit more they might find yeah. something there but it was like okay um <laughs> but yeah real, real interesting there um that then, then we go into pretty much I think it was like 18 minutes and the SJ to Ford, um, mm. beautiful to see. Beautiful. Um, I mean, it's been building over time. Um, him, him and Sean working together, and then to get that one over the line, hit the lead, hit the front, um, just nice. What was your thoughts on that try? Yeah, beautiful, man. Beautiful. Obviously, you know, uh, what Mets went off 10 minutes and 15 minutes, we strike, which is good signs a little bit there. Like we were a little bit disjointed later on in the game uh, due to Mets not being there, but um, Shawnee kind of picked up the slack a lot uh, and laying on that beautiful like flat ball onto Jacko Ford, who I thought had an incredible game in this one too. Like, you know, the work rate he got through, uh, his ball handling was good in this game um, and was just always there and fighting for everything. Even defensively, the amount of defensive work I thought he got, went through was really, really strong as well. So shout out to Jacko. Um, I thought it was an incredible matchup of him and Frizzell on that side, man. Like, what was your thoughts on that overall? Yeah, um, just... just loved it i loved uh, to see him go over he's always nearly been there or thereabouts mm. um so it, it it was nice to see kind of sj just pick him out get a nice touch um and i just thought you know it was just a really really nice solid try for him and yep. probably you know it's credit to him just always putting himself in those positions and, and like we've talked about his selective amnesia i mean amnesia in general yeah he, he's fine running those lines uh, and he doesn't mind dropping a couple 
Yeah, but it's nice when the ball's sitting nicely on him and he's able to work that channel. Yeah. Um, again, just something I'm thinking in terms of SJ just being at another level right now to Metcalf. Not 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 saying you know that Metcalf couldn't have done that, but just sort of saying, you know, Sean picking, um, finding a, a rhythm with with Jacko, and, and 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 channeling his 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 energy and getting in sync that type of thing. Yeah. So yeah, enjoyed it. Really enjoyed that one. That was um, very good. And shout out to the comment over there. Was Jacko uh, mistake free this game? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He got for a full game and that. But the biggest thing is like what you kind of touched on there, bro, is like he's just going to keep running these lines and he's going to keep in the contest throughout every game. And I think that's the be- biggest thing we love about Jacko is his work rate is just second to none. Like he just wants the contact. He will keep coming no matter what, no matter if he drops three balls, four balls, he'll always want to keep up uh, with the hit ups and stuff. So, you know, well done to Jacko, you know, yeah, really yeah. well in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good call. Rikers, welcome in, man, uh, from Ash Thomas's channel. And Detroit, yeah, I thought the halves would have gone um, front door more because of RTS sweeping and attracting players. That's helpful. Yeah, good call. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, there's a couple of moments of it. You know, we had like capes, uh, you know, get put through and then he was given the offload, given the offload. A lot yeah. of that came from, you know, RTS sweeping out back and stuff. Um, so it was good to see. We probably could have used it maybe a little bit more, but bit more. Um, yeah, it was, was very good to see the boys uh, work those channels really well. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, good good call. Uh, this one as well, Philip, we might talk about this a little bit later, but AFE looks like he's carrying an injury. Could could very well be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Detroit's just saying, uh, sorry, Detroit's saying here, Capra reminds me of Mannering. Nothing special, just works his ass off and does the dirty work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think exactly. that's I think that's pretty much what we're getting out of him. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, um, he's definitely got some, that, I mean, that, that try where he dropped, well, not try, but that we broke the line, he could have passed it and he, he kept fighting. I mean, that's what we love to see. <laughs> yeah. um, just wish he held on to the ball a little bit. Hey, but yeah. guys, we've got 30 people in here. We I want to try and get to 50 likes tonight. I know that's a big ask. Um, but if you are here, please give us a like on the video. And then same on Ash's channel. Please give him a like and a subscribe. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Um, let's let's look at um, the next phase here, man. Um, yeah, kind of after that, it was almost immediate, the CHT try. Mm-hmm. Um, what was your thoughts on that beautiful play, especially Egan breaking through and then Chanel with, with great support. We've been dying. We've been talking about finishing. Great to see that. Yep, hundred percent, man. Um, I've you know we rolled down that set. Yeah, I think that was pretty much back to back, wasn't it? We just came, went through, bang, we struck, and then we struck again. Uh, and our momentum was like amazing. And it just Egan does what he does best, bro. He picks out his moments straight through the middle. And um, usually it's Mets running that line, and then it's Chanel running this one. And um, we had a little bit of joke before this one, brother. You know, <laughs> what's your thoughts? Mets probably would have overran that or whatever, but uh, I yeah. see Chanel get there, my man. I was just being devil's advocate, guys. And I was saying, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think um, Mets would have ran overran that one. I, I think <laughs> it would have been fine, but it was just nice to see finally getting some finishing. Um, again, Arch, you know, that in terms of Egan, you got to be around the guy. If you're mm-hmm. around the guy, you'll find these these um, you know this type of thing. And just Chanel, I mean, straight on the field, immediate instincts, just straight yeah. into it. I thought it was really. Really class. I was, I was, I was thinking it was going to be a bit of a fisiahi there. Um, <laughs> going fisiahi going into the yeah, fight. he was, he yeah, was yeah. smiling too much, bro. I thought <laughs> oh, that like, same thing. Uh, you didn't see the replay and the guys coming up. I was like, oh no, nah, bro, this can't be a fisiahi. Please, please no. Um, yeah, no, like you know, I, excite. I mean, in the moment, you can imagine this is a guy that's coming back from, um, you know, um, from thing, and, and he's and he's getting excited. Uh, welcome in, my hey. man. Josh. Hey, is the big hey guy. what's up, boys? What's up, bro? What's happening, what's mate? Up, oh. How you doing, brother? How you feeling? Bro, pretty good. Pretty good. That was a um, that was a very, very good, um, productive game. Hey, like I'm just, mm. I'm just getting my voice back, actually. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I caught a bit of a bit of the show while I was um. I had some of some of the bros were here, so they've just gone out. But um, yeah, wow, damn. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just jump in. You guys carry on talking, and I'll just jump in as we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's great to have you on, bro. As always. Um, yeah, we'll let we'll let Josh work himself. He just kicked a couple guys out the door. He said, "Get out of my house. I've got some. <laughs> I've got some things to do here." Um, so let him just it's sit in. The big lifts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but um, we, we, you know, we're just talking about the the Egan trial, really, and, and just uh, the support play from CHT, pretty much straight on the field, and 
and, and just mm. you know great great try man what was your thoughts on that on josh on the egan on the um the egan support like for cht's try yeah you mean yeah that? yeah Bro, I was just like, bro, look out behind you. Look out behind no, you. No, bro. You're <laughs> very about... right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about Fisiahi. Remember old Glenn Fisiahi? And he, um, he went to put the ball. Oh, down. Yeah, it wasn't Glenn Fisiahi. It, was it, it was a moment because you could see in the replay too. Like, I yeah, think yeah, it was yeah. a crossland. I can't remember who it was. But his eyes are just like, ah, I'm going to get <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he was, he was really up for it. Eh? Yeah, you could tell. But um, yeah, just uh, I, I, we thought support plays. You know, that was just nice to see a, a try get finished off, and especially in there, exactly with Egan. Um, yeah, just thought that was was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think they've thoughts? definitely been watching the channel, boys. I think uh, Webby's been <laughs> and the boys have been watching this channel because that's what you've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, right? Is finishing stuff. So I think uh, yeah. I think they've been watching. I think they've been watching. Yeah. No, I was really, really excited to see a few things. There's a bit of work. There's a bit of work. A few things we didn't finish, but um, mm. no, you're right. I, I was really happy that we uh, we finished. We polished that off. It was oh, it was gone. It was gold, bro. It was oh, it was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just Egan getting himself into the game real early and all that too. Like you know, it was just really good to see him get through a proper stint and that. Had a little bit of injury scare later on in that game where I was like, brother, like, are you serious? Like, please. Like be okay, but he ended up being all right, getting the full eighty. So that was really, really good to see. Yeah, that that um, <laughs> it was the Metcalf injury, and then when we saw the old grimace from the old um, figure oh, yeah. four, was it was the old uh, Kurt, what was it Kurt Angle? It was like the old ankle lock, <laughs> Shamrock lock. He thought he was going. Um, <laughs> he thought he was going to get um, going off the field, but nah, yeah, nice recovery. Our, our boys are really good at that, eh? They kind of rec they show the grimace and go down, and then they get back up. Been yeah, watching bro. a bit of the old soccer. Do you, it, do you think we've been practicing it, bro? Do you think we've been practicing it a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I think Dal's probably Dal's getting really good at it. <laughs> times, a but yeah. he's a pro at yeah. it, bro. And the Academy Award goes too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah With yeah, that yeah. haircut too, bro. Really Academy good. Award all day. <laughs> um, but yeah, then then there was I think uh, there's a little bit of pressure. Uh, oh, RTS dropped the high ball. And then, but then also after that, um, Ponga that short side raid, and then mm. RTS covered tackle was awesome. Beautiful. Um, yeah, the Ponga man, just he, him and RTS in that little period there, where they were going back and forth, and then the um, six minutes to go, RTS breaks breaking ankles and bumping off people, man. <laughs> oh. uh, Josh, bro, what was your thoughts on that little window there? Bro, I kind of freaking... feel, I kind of feel like uh, Rogers, like he just keeps getting better every game, but he, it must be like. When Stan Walker was on Australian Idol, bro, and everyone, all the other contestants are just like, "Oh, we are not gonna win this, bro." Like, <laughs> he is just way too good. <laughs> I feel like bro. that. I feel like when people go to race Usain Bolt, that's what they must be thinking. Like, we are not gonna be able to catch this guy because, bro, he um, <laughs> he's he's just putting people in moon boots, bro. Like, people are at the A and E right now with broken ankles. <sighs> Oh, bro, he is in his um. His Metcalf's off to the hospital, and the other fellow's like, "Hey, what are you doing here?" Oh, I just, I just... Watch the highlights, bro. Watch the highlights. You'll see it. <laughs> Five minutes behind, he's in A and E with old Metcalf. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they'll have a, they'll have a category for that in A&E bro they've got a category for that oh look down bro. oh there's, there's an RTS there's an RTS injury the old RTS ward bro <laughs> oh no that was awesome nah, he, um, um, he was gone he was so instrumental at the back there bro like he, it's like he never left because that's a big shift to go from centre back to fullback and I know he started as a fullback but um, I was a little bit hesitant. I was like, man, he hasn't played there for, you know, a full game for a few years now. Um, yeah. I was a little bit hesitant, but being the professional that he is, bro, I, I thought he, you know, he would come right, but didn't think he'd have that much of an awesome game. Bro, just a complete athlete, eh? Like, the strength mm. of the man. Like, no matter what, like, even when he straightened up, bro, he was getting finding his front. Like, no one really put him on his back throughout the whole game. And just, bro, that sidestep's just second to none, like... How, how a man can just like spit and just go bink, like oh, in two seconds, just bink, bink. Yeah. Bro, he must be so hard to handle, you know. Mm. Obviously, just watching that. I think, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Brody Jones or whatever for the Knights. And he just like put his head down early and the next minute looks up and just fucking on the ground. Oh, I laid a ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
poor guy. He's just looking at his lovely calves go past him, bro, like his beautiful calf. <laughs> yeah. and he, he's, oh. he just watches them go, but he um, he's just so disrespectful, bro, when he sidesteps growing men. These are growing <laughs> men, bro, and he's just so disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, 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 no bro. one doesn't like him, bro. Eh? It's just on a different level. Hmm. Um. Yeah, RTS, bro, just beautiful to watch. Um, I just enjoyed that. Um, then just going into the the Knights try, Grubbers. I mean, it's kind of a talking point. Mm. Um, but yeah, again, just sort of um, yeah, a good fair try. Um, Ash, do you think Grubbers in general just just tr tricky to, to to deal with, or is it kind of a worries thing, or you think it's just a general NRL? Yeah, anything. I I think like overall, yeah, usually, you know, tries off kicks are ones that like either come to like the bounce of the ball and all that sort of stuff. Um, a lot of times like it is, it is down to that fullback and how he gets out of that front line defense and sweeps out the back to get there early. But like I don't, Gamble, I think had that second thought in his head. I don't think he had it. I think it was Gamble that laid it on for him. Um, or I can't remember who kicked it. Was it Gamble or Ponga? I think it was Gamble uh, going out the back and, just, yeah, Tyson Frizzell is always going to chase that down. It's really tough to handle sometimes. And um, obviously, you know, yeah, we, we scored a nice one off a kick as well. Um, it came down to athleticism. And that's really why it's so hard to defend. A lot of it comes from the bounce of the ball and athleticism. It's not on the set players and getting defensives out of out of position. Um, usually, it's, it's really up to that fullback and how far he can cover. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's just good play by the Knights. 100%. Um. What you, what's your thoughts on that, uh, Josh? Yeah, bro. The, the the grubber kick is so underrated, eh, bro? That that's yeah. mm. that's such a um yeah, it's such a good uh, like tool to have in your arsenal, bro. If you can yep. nail yep. a good grubber kick. But Tyson Fazell, bro, he should be on the most money in that night's team, bro. He's a he's a weapon, bro. Yeah. He he's is a gun. weapon there, dude. He's a gun, man. Yeah, he bro. he should be on the most. He should be on the most money, but um. Like Elijah Taylor was saying, you know, tackles don't make cash. Tackles don't make money. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, shout out footy hacks, bro. Shout out, yeah. bro. Amazing content, bro. <laughs> yeah. oh, we'll have to get Elijah on yeah. here, bro. Yeah, that'd be yeah, good it'd one. be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Footy hacks, bro. If you guys aren't aware of it, check it out uh, on Instagram <laughs> and probably everywhere else as well. Um, yeah, but in the, let's maybe just quickly going into half time. What was your thoughts and feelings? I felt as I felt as though the Knights had kind of just sort of um, got a little bit of dominance. I mean, there was a little bit of a momentum shift. I think it was good to go into half uh, twelve six, um, but it felt as though okay, with they 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 got on top of us in that little bit of a period there. Yeah. Um, was it due to anything that you guys felt, or we just sort of just um, credit to the Knights? Um, yeah, I felt yeah. like. Um... You know, some I, I I don't want to call it, like again call us the unluckiest team in the competition, but there's moments in the game where like momentum shifts and it shifts really wild. I think this is one. Was it this one that came off of the um the forward pass call that um on that outside where we were just building like we were like all right we're hitting sky high and then we shifted early. I'm like oh here we go like we're gonna come home strong here. Um and then it kind of just like fell apart a little bit and the boys had to regroup from that. Um, so moments like that happening in the game, like, uh, I sort of touched on you in a pre-room and that too, where, um, uh, Kai Pierce Paul got the ball back and it should have been called an offside. In my opinion, I think it was a bat back from Barry and stuff like a couple of moments there where we lost our momentum, where we could have repeat sets and stuff. Um, it just really the way the flow of the game is. But, um, I remember uh, listening to a lot of NRL coaches always point out that the biggest minutes to win is the 10 minutes before halftime and the 10 minutes after halftime. That's such an important time. I felt like we lost the last five minutes or 10 minutes in that first part, but we started off that second half really, really strong to bring it back in. So it um, was really good to see we didn't lose that because that's really what happened with the Sharks game as well, um, the first mm -hmm. game of the season where we really lost that little period there um, and it kind of bit us in the ass later on. Yeah, thoughts on that, um, Josh? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I'll probably just echo that. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty much what I would have said too. That momentum shift, they win. I think SJ, they said SJ had a forward pass oh. through to Rocco. I think that's when that, that momentum shift happened. I mean, I'm happy that they're starting to learn what forward passes are after. <laughs> after yeah, I don't want to, want to go back there. But uh, yeah. after all, I'm from Brady to the Broncos. So it's good to know that um, but no, you're right, bro. And in previous years, momentum shifts. We haven't 
we have we haven't been able to i suppose recuperate and come back after a momentum shift and that'll exactly bro, and if i can pick it out no way yeah, like there's, there's webby's picking it out too bro and i thought yeah that's when it shifted for them and that's probably yep that last probably two three minutes yep they probably mm. had it they probably had us there for a bit yeah. but um other oh, boys back themselves yeah we're, there was a good good go that and that start of the second half agreed bro that's when um yeah we set the benchmark then for that second yep. half i thought yeah I, sorry, I think I'll quickly sorry bro i'll quickly yep. t- like yep. you know probably to big up the boys a little bit more too even with that momentum shift and all that happened and all the ball that the knights actually had in that late part for them just to score off that little nudge in behind for Frizzell and stuff like that, as we kind of touched on before with grubbers and kicks and the way, like scoring off kicks and that, I think the boys really held in very, very strong in that port uh, portion yeah. there because I think the Knights really got their tails up uh, for that little portion before halftime. And I think that's when uh, RTS had that little drop ball as well, just before halftime as well, off yeah. the kick, which gave him a little bit more ball too. So it was good to see the boys hold out before halftime and not leak any more points, which in the yeah, past we really have good. done in the past, you know? Interesting comment. I think I'll touch on it now. Um, the, the sideline reporter, Tiffany Sam, Salmon, or Salmon, um, she was saying that um, we are the second worst team, and I know it's only early, the early days, but second worst team um, for goal line defense. Yeah. Um, I interesting comment. I never, I never had seen that. I'd never even thought of it. No. Is that, is that, is that just early days, you know, not enough data, or is, are there some issues there that could potentially – yeah if it i feel like it could be early days like you know it's only you know early in the season and stuff like that and we haven't put together a proper like full 80 minute performance that's like you know us like we haven't hit our potential yet and all that but like i, I don't know i felt defensively we were turning teams away as best as we mm. could on our line like those moments like in that sharkies game they or then again like the sharkies barely had time on our line so Maybe yeah. there is something to it, you know what I mean? Maybe it's just like the amount of work we try to keep teams into their own for like fifty, um, that we kind of fall apart a little bit, like with their opportunities when teams get down our end. So maybe there's something to there, but very early on. Yeah. Yep. Many thoughts, Josh. Or all good. No, no. Who was that, bro? Our goal on defense is solid. Who who was that? Was that? <laughs> Tiff, uh, I, I know her on uh, on Twitter, but Tw- Tiffany, if you're out there, yeah, we, we, we're countering your. We're going to counter your accordion on it. The stats you got from uh, your your man, old Blocker Roach. I was going to say, where do you find these stats, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, put this out there. Tell. Uh, yeah, it was Brandy today, wasn't it? It was Brandy. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Brandy. man. It doesn't oh, get any better, Brandy. does it? <laughs> Brandy. Even Vossi, like, I love, I used to love Vossi to death, but even sometimes Vossi is starting to get on my nerves these days too. Like, um, you know, the whole, like, you know, the game doesn't fit, like, start to the Warriors till, like, later on in the game, or, you know, the Knights are still in this one, which they kind of were, but, you know, those sort of commentary calls where it's just yeah. like, uh, come on, boys. And the cliches, yeah, as soon as it hits the certain time, oh, the Warriors are about to, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Blocker uh, Roach is great at those. Yeah, Blocker, he knows it too well. Um, we're down by 40, bro, and he'll be like, well, the boys better get a move on here if they wanted to win this game. I'm like, Block, we're down by 40. Like, there's no way I'm getting this one back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I've, I've, been, I've believed. <laughs> there's been times I've been down by 50, and I'm, I'm like, no, no, there's still time. My new might score a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm the same. I'll I think give you help. The, 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 um, Blimey 2002 era Warriors, they built that in me, unfortunately. Mm. So ever since that time, I remember the game against was it the in dogs. Wellington against the dogs? Yeah, yep. six minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> and if Stacey so just got that right. kick, hey, we just get that kick, man. But, but, since, but since then, I've just always been. Oh, we can make it back. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> yeah, I have not stopped believing since that day. Though, pretty much, never stop. Um, yeah, let's go to the second half, man. The Montoya. What, what mm. a what a take. And I, please forgive me. I, I apologize for my comments. We jamming in last week. I'll accept that as a trade off. You are forgiven and forgive me. <laughs> um, Josh, man, what was your thoughts on that one? We, need, we in reflection, we kind of needed that try. Um, but yeah, yeah. Just just before that, what was the um, that winger? There was a winger that uh, the oh, I can't remember his name for the Knights. He got whacked anyway, and I was like, oh, I wonder mm. if they'll put up a ball for him now because he'll be he'll be still a bit tender. But um, yep. the athleticism shown by the greatest Chilean rugby league player to ever live. <laughs> amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It was um, Chile would be so happy with that. I was, yeah, that no, was awesome. Yeah. 
athleticism, timing. Well, he didn't jump too early. He didn't jump too early, which yeah. is good. Um, yep. you, can, you can get penalised for that. And, um, mm, yes. Yeah, so, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Order, order. He can get penalized for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and um, Riker is saying he's still jammed today, but they didn't score. Oh, yeah, yeah I noticed I, that one. <laughs> but he jammed the right guy. It was the right he call. He wasn't. He wasn't jamming space. You know, he was. He, um, so yeah, he was just. He got the right guy. Um, but yeah. Um, what was Detroit saying here? Do you think a good counter for wingers diving for corners is to not go tackle their body, but dive where they they're headed to place the ball, like? DWZ diving to cat to the patch of grass where Coates was going. Any thoughts on that quickly? Um, I think there was an, was that the question? That yeah. Was... Yeah. It's a little bit tough, man. Like, cause obviously the boys, yeah. like you, you got, you, you're aiming for such a small portion comparatively to a full body. Like I'm guessing you, you want to get full body contact. Like with <clears> that <throat> try with Coatsy, bro, like yeah, only like what Coatsy, DWZ, like boys like that are really, you know, they can really pull some, like, that coast one, man. I, I don't know. Like you can't yeah. really explain that one. Like he left from like six meters out and then got higher in the air and still got to put it down. Like this is sort of tough. But I, I understand exactly what you're trying to say. Yeah. Like maybe the boys will start looking at like trying to knock the ball out in the air. Like I don't know. But I just feel like that's such a small part to cover, um, comparatively to trying to get a full body body contact and probably pushing more out. But I understand where that yeah comment is coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then we kind of um, kind of went into, I felt as though there was like that period in the middle of the second half where it was back and forth. Like you could kind of see it was just like kick for kick. Yep. And then the Knights kind of started to get, you know, it was like force back, you know, it was like they started to win 20 meters, we kick it back 10, and then it kind of got back into, they kind of got on top a little bit. Yeah. Um, what was your guys' thoughts on the middle part of the game? Uh, we still were up by, by 12, but... Yeah, any any thoughts on that part? <clears throat> yeah, like uh, I think, you know, overall you, you will get yourself in these sort of like uh, stronghold battles in the middle of the game, wrestling back momentum and all that. I think just just when the Knights, um, they were just trying to find their way back into this game. And um, I think the boys did pretty well. Like I think a little bit later on, we end up bringing uh, AFB on. Um, a little bit later on, I felt like that was the perfect time to bring AFB back on. As soon as I saw him go on, like, thank God, Webby. Like, that looks, that was amazing because we were kind of getting belted down in our own line and that. It didn't really happen perfectly. Like, you know, obviously, AFB didn't get through, like, didn't really change the momentum completely. But through that set where I saw him on, I was like, you know, in more other games, when we do get ourselves behind a little bit there, the change where Webby just brings someone on like that and to really get momentum back in our side, like that's going to work more times than not. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things, you know, in the middle of the games, you just got to try and wrestle back momentum as best you could. And uh, it's good to see the boys just really hang in there for a decent period and um, not really try to give the Knights too much of a sniff. Yep. Um, and actually, talking about the AFB coming on at the right time, I think Jazz and um, obviously mm. Marata Bunty did a pretty massive shift. I suppose yep. with you know um, yeah Metcalf getting injured and CHT probably wasn't going to be activated till the end of the game. Uh, really changed things. Uh, Josh, what was your thoughts on the bench, bro? Overall, um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, bro. They had to pull some big minutes. I thought I, I agree, man. AFB coming on, I, I had a, I was like, yes. Perfect, bro. That yeah. was perfect timing for me as well. And I think um, real, real good teams, the real good teams, they win the arm wrestle or they they win the ugly games. And I, and yep. I, that comes from that those little bits that we were just talking about. And I and I think we're doing that quite well. That's quite positive to see. Um, yep. It was funny though, eh, when when oh not funny, but when Metcalf got injured. <laughs> And then you see the boys on the sideline, like, and they're like, bro, bro, you better get up, bro. I think you're going to have to go on. Like, <laughs> yeah. Up, so, oh, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, G, I'm up there to go talk to a girl. Wow. <laughs> Jazzy, get on the pad, yeah. bro. Get on the pad. <laughs> it kind of looked like that. Eh? It kind of looked like, gee, you got to go on. You got to go on. They're like, I'm not going on, bro. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Up, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grab the pad, look, the, yeah. the camera team, bro. Grab the pad and make it look like, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah. like we know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Now that was, um, that was because CHD. Bunty was, I think Bunty was like cracking up. Like, like bro, you're on now. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, get ready. And he was like, nah, uh, bro, just sitting here relaxing. Oh, damn. Oh, it was like the last that. dance hey, of the night. Bro, bro, go, 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 bro. She's there. Go, go, bro. <laughs> 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 oh, no, awesome. 
Um, yeah, I, I think, and then the the kind of going on towards the end there, the the Cape Well start of <laughs> it's like perfect timing, like ten minutes to go in, and Cape Well, uh, what was it, knocks the ball on, but we got a penalty. Well, I mean, mm. we started to get these, you know, these were like anti warriors, you know, this was what the cause we used to get against us, but you know, like yep. the team. <laughs> Because if I was a Knights, I'd be like, what the heck, bro? <laughs> well, but I'm happy you know, well, we're man. getting them now. Yeah, Josh, let's Josh talk let's about this. Yeah, right up his- yeah <laughs> no, well, what you got to do to all the other teams out there is get yourself a CEO of a major sponsor that's going to have a bit of a sympathy <laughs> every now and then, and then things will happen. <laughs> things might start to happen. Okay, so you get yourself a CEO of a sponsor and then get them to just make a little bit of a complaint because, yeah, I don't know what that call was, but I'll take it. Like, yep, they were, <laughs> man, they were way off time. They were way off time, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was yeah. gold, man. Um, but, hey, like, you know, obviously we don't see everything, but I was happy with a few of those. But there was definitely a few moments, I think, a Barnett, the misplay the ball. Mm. Um, but apart from Very that, on the, um, um, yeah. on the Newcastle uh, Facebook site, they are blowing up about <laughs> Jackson Ford. Oh, because I'm in there giving it to them, bro. Right? Oh, giving it to them. Your team is so useless. Joey Johns must be so disappointed in you. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, they're like, they are blowing up about that try for um, Jackson Ford, saying that he knocked it on. And oh, saying shut that up. THB potentially yeah. knocked on. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. But in what? times previous, would they have pulled that try up for us, bro? You know what I mean? Like, it, it just had bro. that flavor about it. I was like, oh yeah, they got they're gonna pull it up. <laughs> they're gonna try and find something to, to yeah. But they gave, they awarded it. But now nah, the night the Knights fans bro, were blowing up about that, and th- they said that we were we were throwing forward passes, bro. Which there was a couple borderline ones, but it went both ways though, man. Like both teams yeah, throwing yeah, forward so. passes. I, I love the one where it's like. You, you know the cameras you're like coming up on the halfway line or wherever it might be and the cameras literally in line yeah. and then you see mm. the forward pass and it's like obvious <laughs> you know the one uh, i think the knights did one on literally on halfway and it was like and they didn't call it i was like what the heck yeah 100 um, percent. yeah um but then ponga bro that last that well i mean i got uh, ptsd i got camera ptsd from the um that last shift remember the 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 overtime one, the, the Sean drop, Johnson drop goal last year. Yeah. They do that early shift to the left, uh, get on the outside, and then Ponga. Um, RTS saves the day, man. But what were you guys Bro. thinking in that moment, man? I was like, fuck. Like, I, I, honestly, like, I think the Knights do lack a little bit of speed. Now, I thought Nali Chihuahua was incredible in this game, but if he was like someone like Xavier Savage, uh, like Khan Pereira, I feel like we would have been in a very sticky situation there as well. Um, but like Sheck did so well to cover. Like I'm pretty sure what he covered the first man and then went, oh, all right, back to Pong off, switched yeah. back around and then batted the ball down. Like, bro, that's just all class, man. All class. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, um, I think that was the point, bro, where I might have, um, I think I threw something, like I threw something across the room. And I was like, no way. No, we can't be doing this again, bro. I was just in the moment, you know, I probably should have kept the cool head. I uh, probably should have thought logical, but I didn't. I was really emotional. Um, but no, that – and then when you watch in, re- in the replay, because I didn't really realise how awesome RTS was until they replayed it and done it in slow-mo. Bro, it's like mm. he's just he's just out there. You know what I mean, bro? He's just he's just having a cup of tea, chilling, and they're trying to score Yo. tries. He's just like, rap, rap. like three of them, bro. Like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's so good, bro. Then these are the, these are elite athletes, bro. That he's doing it against. So it's not like it's a high school yeah. game or anything. Like these are these exactly. are elite athletes, bro. Wow. Yeah, they are. They damn, are absolutely. To be that guy. Long. Yeah, yeah. It's and Artis knocks the ball on. Definitely say to try Tane one. Why is Tane getting shady, man? The guy didn't even play the game. He's getting hits from. And you, I Tane, Tane, Tane was incredible last week. I thought he was incredible. <laughs> we love you here, Rikers, but come on, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, to be honest, though, bro, I did question. Did any of you question that? <laughs> with a, yeah. <laughs> bro, I, I might have questioned, it. I might have questioned with, it. Yeah. The composure of RTS, man. Fire is so good. And just the burst of speed, too. Just the, like, what they cover that guy and then just, just get on his bike, bro. Like, yeah, that guy, all time athlete. Bro, he, um, I just want to touch, let's maybe start with him in terms of player reviews, bro. I thought the second half, massive carries, like, mm. 
and, and the beautiful one was the what was the one they do across the ruck? I've been I think they've been trying to do that with CNK, but just hasn't really worked where you go to Sean and then he drops it back and you cut back the other way. Yeah. Um that was cool to see too. And I think they awesome. probably obviously worked on I I don't think they got the, I don't think I don't think we got the best in terms of link play because we were never gonna get that, I don't feel no. with the one week's preparation with, with RTS. But we got little things like that. You know, yeah. working out of the ruck, one out. Um, and I love it from him because he's doing it in so many different ways. Like preseason, he was destroying the centers out on the outside. Yeah. Um, you know, then he changes it up for the last couple of games, you know, finding his feet. Jumps in at fullback and you're thinking, oh, he's going to get way more, um, you know, mm. set up, set up tries, link play. But no, it's just more simple stuff. Working from yardage and, and being in the right spots, those bombs he diffused like massive catches, massive. Ooh, yep. Um, but well, yeah, uh, Josh, bro, what was your thoughts on on RTS's overall? Yeah, oh, bro, just what a what a what an athlete, what a professional, bro. Like you, got, we got to remember, he's been out of the game for two years. He's been out out of that fullback role, and like I said yep. earlier, there's a big difference between playing center and playing fullback. And um, I just didn't miss a beat. He was only just shy of 300 meters, bro. Like, <laughs> he, he, you don't just do that, bro. Like, you don't just nah, come back bro. and, oh, you know what? I might just, just about get 300 meters. No, like, that's just rude and disrespectful, bro. That's what that is. Um, but he, no, uh, I thought, it was, um, I just, even though, yeah, like you're saying, that inside pass when he's coming through, straight through running that center line, like, oh, around mm. the tide, finding a tired board. It just, I don't know, it just warms my heart, bro, like, to see that. Like, it just puts me in such a good space, bro, um, in, my, yeah. in, my, in my heart and in my head. <laughs> but he, um, <laughs> I'm getting too deep. But, no, I thought um, <laughs> uh, it's just amazing, bro. It must, it must be just so hard to defend that, like, to be on the opposite team and just think, like, no, which way is he going to go? Are they going to give him the ball? Or yeah. is he going, are they going to kick it apart? Because like, there's so many options mm-hmm. you've got with him, bro. So yep. yeah, yeah, yep. That, that's where I'm at. But no. even then too, bro, like I don't think that option goes away when he goes to Santa if we were to do it right. You know, we saw Joe Manu in that Panthers game um, the other mm-hmm. night um, try to get him and get some carries done and all that. Like I think we can do that very similar thing um, with, you know, Sheck coming through the middle and getting... Yep good ball like that as well so like you know even when chance comes back and he gets through probably his 250 300 run meters and that that he can get through the 200 a game and then have Sheck with those like strike carries like that um yeah him with like a little bit less work but like those moments he's going to pull out some incredible moments just with like freshness and that when he goes back to center um obviously it's going to be a big talking point now that we've seen him at fullback and everyone's going to be like oh like Daily M full back yeah. of the year, back, you know, how long ago, yeah. Daily M? Like, but yeah, incredible, yeah. man. Just incredible. Against man. last year's Daily M full back from last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like the, mm-hmm. the different level of fullback. Um, yeah. I still think Pong is a gun gun player, but yeah. I don't know. I thought, yeah. I thought Rog played a better game, to be honest. Yeah. They're both incredible. Both yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I, th- I thought Pong was good in his own different style and way, but. Mm. Um, Probably my next person to really, really, really talk about was Rocco Berry and, and that battle with Bradman Best, like mm. far out. They sent a lot of traffic down him. I thought they'll go down um, Pompey's side a bit more, but they obviously Bradman's their weapon and Berry did a, a good job, in my view. Um, yeah, Ash, what was your thoughts on Berry's game? Incredible, man. Incredible. Um, we were touching on grubbers a little bit early on in the game, but that point where Shawnee put the grubber in behind and Barry, I think it was Tuala, tried to get to it to the ground as quickly <laughs> yeah. as he could, and he just yeah. picked him up and was like, later bolt, like you're going to in goal. Yeah. Like those moments is what makes Barry so special, bro. Just incredible, man. He was high work rate. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, massive. Josh, your thoughts on. on, on, on yeah, no, nah, Rocco, 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 on Rocco, Rocco, um, Rocco, Rocco was. <laughs> Because you got to remember, he's playing Bradman Best, who's the New South Wales centre. It's like he's a state of origin centre, and Bradman Best mm-hmm. is no, you know, he's no chump, bro. He's, he's a gun player, and I thought his yep. defensive read, bro, the way he just shut him down, except for that try. But that was a good try. Best really had to work for that that kick yep. through yeah. try. But ah, um, oh, bro, Barry just yeah, that that guy, yeah, he's the guy. He's the guy, man. I think he cemented he that position anyway. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. he played an awesome uh-huh. game. He's consistently Incredible. good. 
Um, and while we're in the centres, old uh, Mount Vesuvius, old Pompey. Remember, you guys remember old Mount Vesuvius? Old Pomps. <laughs> old Pompey. Good old Pompey. <laughs> uh, <it, laughs> you Run played Mount Vesuvius today, old Pompey. <laughs> Uh, it was good, bro. But I, I loved his like. I, I, I lucky I'm, to I'm, do I anything wrong. <laughs> no. I'll uh, pull this comment up. What was it before? Yeah, uh, 100 something, 46 meters, mm. uh, 56 post contact, 18 tackles, zero miss. Incredible. Just a professional performance coming in, coming out. Yep. There's like a hitman assassin do the job, mm. leave no trace of evidence. Yep. Um. And, and pack up but yeah man what's your guys thoughts on on pompey just quickly <clears throat> yeah good man like got in daddy shift and um yeah just didn't look out of place too well like too much you know what i mean like everything just fell into place for him he got through a lot of like you know post contact man this is probably the most that i noticed him in that uh yeah. you know those hot, tough carries where he finds his front so like well and just pumps his legs through the line um I thought, like, yeah, he was incredible. And then we got, like, you know, players like Ali Latola that's still waiting in, like, you know, cup and all that. So it's just showing our, our our depth right there. You know what I mean? And, you know, Mets goes down. We have CHT there. You know, we had pushed Ro uh, Roger to the back. He got Pompey coming back, coming there. And if there was an injury there next week, Ali's there waiting. So incredible, incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Josh, any thoughts on, on Pompey? Yeah, and no, I thought Pompey had a he didn't do anything wrong. So um yes. he, he did like he did his job, you know, he just went out there, didn't try and you know, every now and then Pompey tries to do an awesome pass that's not awesome, yep. or tries to do a like an offload that's just not there. He didn't didn't try and do that. So it shows that he's been working on his game. And um yeah. another thing I was thinking when Metcalf went off of SJ for whatever reason couldn't kick goals, I was like, mm. Oh, who's gonna who's gonna kick the goals? Mitch Barnett. You know, he could, or Pompey. he could, <laughs> yeah, he could, well, Pompey could too. So, yeah, I was like, oh, who's got yeah, maybe Schnell, I don't know, but I was like, oh, that's something else that Pompey's got. Not, not that he's a super great yeah. kicker, but and just saying, look, talking about statistics, uh, Roger Tuovasa Sheck has a hundred percent strike rate when it comes to kicking goals, hasn't missed <laughs> yeah. one. Well, there you go, yeah. He's oh, only had one yeah. that was right out in front of him when he was leaving. <laughs> it wasn't like a farewell. You know, see, it wasn't a farewell. <laughs> it wasn't a farewell kick. But it's 100%. That's 100%. Hey. So. <laughs> he can come and do a job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, I thought, um, I thought, just on touching on our wings in, in general, um, Dallin, uh, you know, not a, you're not going to have games where you're going to score off every play, but it, it's good just to see the carries he does as well and, and the yardage. Mm. I thought he was just, yeah, just massive. I thought both of our wingers, Montoya did that little hit and spin in the first half, you know, a little found the right through. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I thought they were all really, really solid. Um, yeah, happy with happy with their performances. Um, but let, let's move into the halves. I let's talk Metcalf. Um, me and Asher talked a little bit about Metcalf, bro. It looks like the physio is saying six weeks at the moment could be longer. Um. Josh is probably he's faking the he's <laughs> no, 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 that's sad for him, bro. <laughs> nah, that is really no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Him. No, yeah. we love all of yeah. our players and, and we don't wish the yeah, worst, yeah, on them, yeah. all love, yeah, no, um, no, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sad guy. what a sad guy. No, I'm just <laughs> the hospital wall right there. The hospital wall right there. But Blumen, um, what's his name? Hey, um, yeah, um, all right, he does those chopping. He chops everyone up there, fella. Oh, what's his name? Um, uh, Tyson Frizzell. Frizzell, very. Oh, oh. was it knee on knee or was it what was it? It looked like, like it was shoulder on like thigh. Oh, and okay. Like, and it like a, I think his legs clashed together. I think yeah, or something like that. It was a bro. Like, because Mets wasn't slowing down at the line too. Like, Mets hit that hard. Yeah. <laughs> it just stops like a brick wall. A far <laughs> feel for him. That was like later on in the game yeah. where Dal ran that ball back where it was suicide run and it hits Braddon and Bess. I was like, oh, bro, fuck. These boys, man. Incredible. Yeah. 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 And um, I think they had just mentioned it earlier too while we Metcalf was on. I think Brandy might have said, not that I take much into what Brandy says, but he was saying just on that left side, they he run they run out of room, bro. Like they they run across, whereas the right side they straighten up. And I was like, mm, well, yeah. is that yeah? Who who's doing that? <laughs> like, uh, and then yeah, you kind of got to think, is that is that a Metcalf thing or? But anyways, if Metcalf's out for six weeks, 
Um, yeah, that's tough going, man. He's he's he said well, some he said some things like, hey. Yeah, he has. He has. Um, and it's not a hamstring injury, which was obviously good. Well, you know, there's, yeah, there's no injury is good, but it wasn't because of that. Um, but while there's CHT coming on, uh, yeah, Josh, bro, what was your thoughts on on his performance? Yeah, well, yep, I was a little bit skeptical to be honest, bro, because he played what twenty minutes or something all year, and he hasn't played for the last twelve months, and he just comes in and puts in a good performance like he did. Um, I thought he played well, mm. man. I, it's interesting how he goes into hooker as well and gives – looks like he gives Egan a break. Yeah. I don't know. I've never really seen them do that with, with Metcalf. So I don't know if that's yeah, actually in the that back. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. that. Yep, yep. Good call. Good shot. Yeah, that was that was yeah. good. Um, yeah. Um, just while we're at it, Ash, do you think he stays in the six or just is Tamari a possibility now? What, what's the what's the what's your thoughts? I would probably run CHT in the six. Like you know, I'm seeing all the comments, you know, left, right, and center, and that. Um, I've been watching a cup team, and like you know, Tamari has been doing okay, but I'm still like uh, I, I think watching Chanel on this one, I reckon he'll do do well to hold in there for the period, and I think just more time and him getting reps and um, with our players on that side, because obviously we're so SJ reliant. Or halfback relying on SJ getting us around the park and setting us up in mm. points. Um, it'll be a little bit different with Chanel there, but um, I think defensively he holds his own there, which is the best thing about him as well. So uh, I would keep Chanel in my opinion and just continue to um, let Tomate like works his way in cup and maybe things change later on. Who knows? But I just haven't been incredibly like out of this world impressed with Tomate in in cup mm. at the moment. That's all. That's my biggest thing. Josh, you you the same thought? Mm-mm. Is that if Walker's out? So does Walker? Because it, it'll be a yeah. bench thing, eh? I suppose. Like, um, yeah. Because I yeah, think be Lusick would come back in possibly. Yeah, I was, I'm saying, yeah. yeah. And that's the benefit of CHT is that he mm-hmm. does have the hooking option. Where, like you just said, Josh, that he could go in um, at the end of a game, and 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 then maybe you put Walker out. Like, say, if Walker comes back, Walker plays six. Just it's just literally mm. defending um, for ten minutes or whatever it may be. We, but what's your thoughts, bro? Tomorrow or or CHT starting? Yeah, yeah. I, I agree, bro. I've been watching a bit of Cup as well. I love I love Tomorrow, bro. I love I think he's an awesome player, very silky. He is. But I I think um, I think CHT gets a nod for me. Um, yeah. He even straightened up that defense, bro, on that side. Yeah. So I just felt yeah. comfortable with his defense as well. Um, yeah, I think he stays for me. Yeah. Yeah. 100%, 100%. And we're such a versatile team. Like That's what makes it so tough to make it is just like answer these questions and all that, I think, because like, you know, when Dilla Walker comes back in, as you were talk- talking about, Josh, you know, if Dilla Walker comes in, our bench may, like, does Jazzy drop out or Jazzy stays in there? And then like, we got that look there. Or Lusick wasn't in this one. He was 18th man today. Like, do we run Lusick at 14 again? And then like, does Smarty get over the top of Chanel to push Chanel back to the bench again? Like we could run that look again. There's so many different looks mm-hmm. we could come next week. So really it's it's up to Webby. He's got all the tools now. So um, we could run with so many different lineups to be honest. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. tough thing for Met- Metcalf is it's so tight to break into mm-hmm. this team and to be six weeks out. Then say you get six yeah. weeks with a combination of CHT and say SJ, it's so hard yeah. for him to come, just come straight back in. So yeah. um yeah tough tough going for him but no like you said man it's it's exciting because we're so versatile. Oh yeah. Haven't been able to say that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, bro, versatility has been huge in depth and uh guys, we got 68 of you guys in here. One short of 69. Ooh. Um <laughs> if you guys can come in. And, and um nice. <laughs> oh, 67 someone didn't appreciate that now. Um oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's falling as we speak. But no, if you are here, please give us a like and subscribe. I think we're linked up with uh, Ash's page as well. I was linked with uh, Josh's page, but I accidentally fl- uh, pushed on his page, but uh, <laughs> he wasn't here, so I've turned it off because I didn't want to uh, mess with the oh, bro's page. Ah, sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I so accidentally clicked webcam. it on. I looked at, oh, I'm live on your page. So probably live on your page for about two minutes. My apologies. <laughs> um but uh, now we appreciate everyone coming in here. Um, well, yeah, we're going through the player ratings. Um, or just thoughts on the players. We've finished off the, the backs. Um, let's go into the forwards. AFB, 
um interesting like for me personally i kind of thought it was just like a, a kind of a gr- i mean afb's basic level or, or lowest level is a1 a1 anyway you're yeah, better than most people um but just um uh, maybe looks like he's holding a, a little niggle um or just wasn't the overall best looked a little bit slow to certain things and what's yeah. your guys thoughts on his performance yeah it looked like he copped a knock like very like just before Mets um injury like he was whole he was on his haunches and I was like oh like do we see like an early Murata like look if Murata runs front row next year or whoever comes in to start in front row like there's AFB out for ages so we'll have to keep an eye on that to see how that goes and obviously he came back on later on and he, he looked okay like looked great for like you know, an average front rower, he looked incredible. But like, you know, for AFB, as we know him to be, like, obviously he didn't get the full like massive line breaks, no ta- like massive tackle breaks. Still got for his work what, 139 meters, 55 post contact meters. Like, he's still an incredible player. Like, um, but yeah, to his standards, I'll give him like what, like a seven. It was there. Mm. Yeah. You know. um, Josh, any thoughts on AFB? Yeah, no, same thing, man. I thought, I thought, oh, he's picked up a, he's picked up an injury here, and I remember thinking, I must be the only one because I'm, I analyze it. I'm the only one that knows that, but obviously I'm not. <laughs> like, <obviously. laughs> oh, in my head, I was like, man, I'm so good, man. No one would know this, just me. But, um, yeah, I think, I think he, yeah, I, I would probably just his presence as well, the presence about mm. having him on board, and um, just his leadership in that, in that pack. Um, yeah, man, I'd, I'd give him probably a seven and a half. I'd probably give him a seven yeah. and a half. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like it wasn't a drop off. There was no errors. There's no, but you could just see like just body wise, um, wasn't have you know the full range of movement probably. Yeah. But still killing it. Um, and like we talked about it, um, just coming on at that in that last part of the game was massive too. I thought didn't like you kind of mentioned it, Ash, didn't turn the tide, but definitely needed his impact. 100%. Um, to, to help us get over the line. Um, uh, Barnett, another massive game. I know his numbers wise, 177 meters. Shivers. This guy's in the dungeon. Actually, master, master. I'll pass it to the master of the dungeon. Um, what was your thoughts on Barnett, bro? Far out. This guy, Barney. I call him Barney. That's a little bit of a name that we've got for each other. Uh, I, call I love him, it. I call him. Yeah. I shout. I shout out to him in games. He hasn't yet notice me but that's probably because there's like heaps of people around but i feel like we've got a connection um i feel like there's it's two of us there's two of us in this relationship and it's not just, just one way you know it's <laughs> it's, a, it's a backwards and forwards just just the two of us it's, it's backwards and forwards bro. um yeah i thought he had a, i thought he had an awesome game to be honest I, he's just so instrumental in what he does he just goes about just goes about his business bro like he's um yes. I, I've, yeah. I've got a mate that used to train with him yeah you know, he was a strength and conditioning coach at at the knights and he he told me some good things about barney bro like he is just a a really good guy real good character and yep. um yeah he trains really really hard him and him and tyson frizzell like we're head to head when they're training bro so i feel yes. like we've got like the white version of tyson like a white white <laughs> version <of> tyson <laughs> but no i thought he was good i'm gonna give him a uh i'm gonna give him an honest eight and a half to be honest you love it. Bunny? I love it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ashley, what's your what's your thoughts on? Yeah, you already know my love for Barney too, bro. So I can't wait for the time that Joshy and Barney like lock eyes and have that connection that they've been talking about for a while now. So you know, I'm really <laughs> excited for that. But nah, incredible man. Like I just love the work he gets through. Like you know, I think the best part about Barney is like he goes out there, he's aggressive. He him and AFB. I can only imagine like being other forward packs looking across and having what, both those guys on the other end going like anything can happen. Like those guys run out and just smack you. Like, um, so that's the biggest thing I love about Barney. He changes games with his defense and he gets through a yeah. ton of work offensively. So um, just love having him in his squad. Yeah. And like, I think if you look at his journey too, I mean, last year, this time last year, he was a guy that we worried would retire, medically retire. Yeah. Um, and to yeah. see where he's come from, is just, is just ma- massive. Um, but yeah, no, I, I loved his game. Um, and Josh, a shout out here from Jazz. Jazz, somebody's saying, I'll be at the Warriors Bunnies. You're going to the Warriors Bunnies next week, aren't you, bro? Well, look. I'll change your plan. Not the hospital ball again. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's it's my wife's uh, it's my wife's birthday, so uh, I'm gonna give oh. her a little surprise gift. A little bit of a surprise yeah, to the yeah. buddies game, mate. <laughs> but it's a little little weekend getaway, darling, down in Sydney. We're gonna, I've got us a hotel room, babe. It's going to be great. You're going to love <laughs> nice. it. Um, oh, look, two tickets to the Warriors versus the Rabbitohs. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's it. That's it. Nice, yeah, nice. So I'll be heading down. Uh, yeah, I'll be so heading down. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll go down with my get, wife. You'll get a, get, definitely get a, a Barnett. Get a Barnett, um, yeah, bro. Get Barnett photo for sure. You can. <laughs> yeah. Are you actually you catching up with anyone there? You catching up with the with old CG or Cameron George? Or are you gonna Cappy? You can catch up with Cappy. No, well, or... I, I try and um, if it's me, then I do. But if I'm with, if like, when I go with my wife or kids or something, I probably I, pro- I probably don't because I, I, they get embarrassed, bro. So like, they get embarrassed of their dad. So like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a growing man, and I'm out there yelling like a little fangirl. So uh, yeah, probably, <laughs> probably won't, probably won't, bro, because they, they just get embarrassed. <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, if you are at the um, at the Bunnies game, um, yeah, go go catch up with Josh. I'm sure he wouldn't mind saying hi, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. Um, Egan. Old Wade Egan, great to have him back. 80 minutes, man. Shucks. Mm. Um, Ash, what's what was your what was your call on him, bro? What yeah, great, bro. Great. I thought, you know, he got through his work, like the ruck deception, the line break. Like, yeah, just so good to have him back there. And just like, you know, obviously he's had a couple of weeks out, but just see him like slot back in and just like there's like no little like, you know, period there where he was clunky at all. Like everything was sort of going the the way we really wanted it to go, to, uh, to go. So, um, so good to have him back, bro. 80 minutes, amazing. Obviously scared me to death when he went down. I was like, please don't, please. Um, but just so good to have him, good minutes and uh, getting through some good football. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And line breaks as well, far out. It was just, again, mm. going back to that try, but it was beautiful to see. Um, Josh, you think he's, to him, for him to play 80 minutes is, is pretty massive or do you think he was always going to play i mean obviously cht came on uh late replacement for lusik lusik dropped out do you feel that maybe he is going to be um playing longer minutes than what we we may have thought to start the season yeah i i think he was the the goal was for him to be an 80 minute hooker bro i don't think the goal today was for him to be an 80 minute hooker. I reckon yeah. CHT would have come on at some stage. And then then when he would have gone off, you know, Chanel would have just gone on and told him, Oh, gee, uh, oh, Webby just said you have to stay on for 80 minutes. Gee, so uh, <laughs> don't, get, don't get injured. Like, don't, don't get hurt. Um, yeah, but congrats, bro. You're doing 80 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason yeah, you yeah. get paid more money than me, bro. So you're doing 80 minutes. <laughs> I wonder if they whisper stuff to them like that, eh, bro? Oh, bro, you're yeah, they a thousand a minute, you better yeah. stay off, eh? Yeah. <laughs> they, they do, bro. I, I, times that I've been fortunate enough to talk to the players, bro, they're 100% they do, bro. Bro, stay do they? Like, you get paid more, way more money than us. You have to stay on, bro. <laughs> um, bro yeah, but yeah. I thought he played solid, man. And um, to come back from injury and play 80 minutes just shows the measure of the man. He's what a competitor, bro. He would... um. He would be, he'd go close to being one of my favorite warriors at the moment, bro. Like, like obviously mm. Barney and I have got something on a different level where we, yeah. you know, it's, it's a more of an intimate, like, let's not get too deep, <laughs> but I think, um, I think Wade, bro, I think be. he's, yeah, he's my favorite. I'm like, just, just as, as, um, just how he can s- slow the game down, bro. And his head looks like he's, mm. he's just got all the time in the world. Yep. And I haven't seen a hooker do that since like Cameron Smith, bro. So. Just yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. He mm. he reads it so well. Like, um, I love I love the hookers too that look the other way and like, hey, yeah, come up, come. Up. But then they go right, you know. Like they're always crafting out. It's like um, you know, setting everything up, every possible thing to get a, a defense moving one way or the other. So, no, I loved his work. Um, back rows, um, Ford, uh, and Capewell. Start with uh, we'll start with Ford. Uh, Ash p- overall performance from Ford. Yeah, incredible. Just like got through a ton, a ton of work, uh, no errors, which is amazing. Um, and just defensively, he's just there like all the time, just always trying 
Um, that's the one thing he'll never he'll never stop trying. That man, like he'll always be there, always peppering it along. Um, good to see him have that little sprint, uh, sprint down the wing as well. Became a winger for a little bit there, so um, had a little bit of speed to him and that. But um, yeah, just a solid performance, bro. Like yeah, amazing. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, awesome. Um, Jacko Ford, I know he was kind of in the. Um, you're a little bit worried about him, Josh. Um, where you has anything changed? Um, but his overall performance, what do you feel? Yeah, he wasn't. Um, look, he wasn't going to get any McDonald's, bro. He wasn't getting a soft serve, fifty cent <laughs> ice cream, uh, for me last last couple of weeks. But you know, I'm probably going to get him one, and probably with a flake. Uh, after this uh, game, so he's little, <laughs> yeah, he's a flake. with a flake, with a, flake. With a bit of a flake, yeah, with the flake <laughs> as well. I just, I just, um, I, I feel like I wonder if Jackson Ford will jump back in because he normally jumps in on the on this channel, doesn't he? And just, <laughs> yeah, I, Jack- I feel like he's been watching. Like I feel like he's been listening to what we've been saying because that's exactly what he did. Like we said, like it, it's there. Just you got to show it, man, because there's there's better players coming through. So um, I think he's held on to his position. Definitely, definitely held on to that position this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, he – I love the – like, we talked a little bit about it with um, the, the, the link play with Sean. I think it's a nice, simpler kind of a setup for him. Um, and then the try uh, I thought was, like, really nice, just Sean picking him out and, and getting a good line. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that's where – well, the one thing I like about him, and I don't like the errors, but I like the confidence – yeah. To, to mm. say, I, I, I'm going to keep running a hard line. I'm going to keep doing what I'm going to do. Um, mm. But no, I, was, I thought that was really good. Um, on the other side, I suppose a different kind of a performance, but still awesome. A Capewell, 48 tackles, I think it was. Um, massive amount of work, 80 minutes again. Um, Ash, what's your, what, was your, what was your read on him? Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. I still kind of was like a little bit like KP on that edge was causing a little bit of worries on that side as well. Um, and like he missed four tackles. I thought he missed a little bit more during the game, but he got for a ton of work for the middle as well. Like when we were like covering, you know, he'd push in slightly and try to get the big first hit ups. Sometimes he does get monstered, but the biggest thing about Cody Capes is he's like, he's just going to keep trying and he's just so, so strong. I'm still waiting for that. He's, the connection with Shawnee is there and it will grow. Like that offload that he was waiting to freaking put on someone that whole time. He was just hanging it out, just going, someone come please. Like it's there. Yeah. Um, and end up causing the error there. But it will come to a time where we're going to fall in love with like every all the little things he does. Like, you know, he had a good game defensively, 49 tackles in this one. Um, but he's never going to like on a stat sheet, you're never going to look at him and go, holy shit, ran like 200 meters or 150 yeah. He's always going to run like what that eighty or something about sixties. Got um, up to ninety. Yeah, got up to ninety to the seat, which is good. And um, you know, just that little threat in behind runs good lines, and yeah, just that kick chase is a big thing. It's always a big thing. Him and Rocco, some of the best kick chase in the game. Um, Josh, uh, we've we've had Capewell for a few weeks now. We've, we've kind of seen what he's about. Was it, or do you think it's he's the right guy for this system and and like kind of. Obviously, we're looking at kind of what Marata we had Marata last year in that role, um, current at times last year. Is this kind of the guy we need um, to be yep. in that role? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, bro. Hey, um, I think there was a comment made by a, a commentator. I think the ball went from SJ to Tohu to Capewell, and he said, "Like, well, just look at the experience just in those those three players." Yep. And, and yep. um, you kind of forget how how much. Cape was kind of done in his career before the the Warriors as well, and then and bringing that to the Warriors is that that's so important um, for the younger players. I think he will, yeah, he's more of an asset for our younger players that are coming through, and I think he's a really good yeah. buy. And I think we're going to see the best of him these next couple of rounds, bro. If he stays injury free, I think um, I think we're really going to yep. see some some good stuff from him, bro. Yeah, he's he's yeah, yeah he's gone. Mm. Yeah, nah. Yeah, if he was, I, I, if he I was just quick question, quick question about Capewell. If he was a car, what kind of car do you think he would be? If he was a make or model <laughs> of a car, what kind of car would, would Capewell be? Oh, it'd be a Toyota. He's in the Toyota, Toyota range. He's Japanese for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a Land Cruiser. He's a Toyota he's a Land, Land Cruiser. Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> like he's got a, that's exactly what oh. he would say. 
Reliable, bro. He's Mr. Reliable. You know, not, yeah. not, <laughs> comfort, not, not much comfort, but, but nah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> built to last. I'm gonna keep you on the Land Cruiser. That's what I'm gonna call him, right? Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, definitely God, Toyota, man. man. Japanese never breaks, never falls. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, bro. Um, Tohu, um, Ash, you're, you're, um, mm. I, don't, I mean, he's just that guy. He's, just... he's like that guy in the background, like just you know, he's always <laughs> he's in every photo. You know, he's like the guy, like you know, he's not in the main photo all the time, but he's in the background doing <laughs> something. You know, what, what's bro. your thoughts on our, our captain, bro? Bro, it's just like every game, bro. He's just out there just doing his work and all that. It was good to see him get a little bit of a stint off in this game because, bro, like, the amount of games that we've seen him run out there for 80, even though Webby's just like, I want to get him off, but, like, we don't. sometimes we just don't have a choice. He's just got to go out and do it, and he'll do it every time. Um, yeah, bro, just, oh, just the mummy, man. Like, he just does not stop. He's all strapped up, just does not stop. Love his ball playing. Uh, love his work. Yeah, just incredible, man. Always incredible. Yeah, Josh. Um, told you. Yeah, he's like um, he's like the Rocky movies, eh? Like the Sylvester Stallone <laughs> movies. Like he's, he's like Rocky, bro. Adrian, like he's just still fighting, bro. He's just still. He's got like no legs left. His arms gone, but he's still like punching, and, and his arm goes, and he's just like biting people, bro. I, I think he's uh, he's just so so instrumental. But I think if he was an X Man, if he was an X Man. He would be mm. Professor X, in my opinion. He's just at the yeah. back there, you know, he's, <laughs> he's reading off the wheelchair. Like, yeah. <laughs> if he keeps going the way he is, he will be. That, wheel- bro. <laughs> I didn't even think about the wheelchair thing. But um, oh, yeah, he, you did. I know you did. <laughs> it's actually funny. I've been watching um, the new X Men, was it 97? Um, uh, so I have been watching a bit of Professor X at the moment. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to go car, make a model again, bro. And I was like, another <laughs> Land Cruiser. Like, what, 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 I don't know what else to say. But we're You're talking old school Landy. <laughs> yeah, 72 Landy. Yeah, bro. Got two yeah. duct tape held together by duct tape and prayers, bro. <laughs> still holding in there. We'll nah, still get there, bro. That Top Gear. <laughs> he, um, he's so... It's, it's what he does off the ball. Like, on the ball is really important. It's what he does off the ball for me, too. I... I've watched mm. him play live a few times and just the way he can position people around the field as well. And he's like yeah. another ball player, bro. And uh, yes. oh, it's just so, so good to see. And he's such a good leader. He, he's um so humble, such a humble, good yeah. character, bro, that guy. So, no, he, he gets a nine for me tonight. Sure. Love, love, love that. Love that. He's actually, I think Walker's usually the guy to kind of, I suppose replace him or give him a breather, should we say? And like Walker's been out two weeks in a row now, and it's almost like he's just said, "Oh, sweet as I'll I'll fill that role, I'll fill that space, I'll cover enough for us to get through." And and he always does, man. So a massive yeah. shout out to uh, King Tohu. Yes, Richard is saying, no, absolutely." Mm-hmm. Um, bench now. Um, so we're in pretty much a three man bench, eh? Hey, I suppose. Who do we have? Jazz. Oh, Start off with Jazz. What you guys' thoughts on, on his shift? Yeah, good, man. Good. I thought he came on, looked really, really good. Didn't put a foot wrong, really, in my opinion. And defensively, he got through, like, uh, like he was noticeable. Like, you know, he was chopping blokes and all that. So, um, especially, you know, watching that, like, seeing his cup stats a couple of weeks ago where I saw him pump out, what, like 250 meters with 50 tackles and 20, 25 runs, like, the guy's an absolute beast, and I, I couldn't believe the amount of questions around if he was going to start. And, and then seeing him not play in our bench, I was like, oh, like, you know. But, man, he's just going to continue to turn up. And, um, yeah, just good signs, good signs. Yep. <clears throat> hmm. Any thoughts he's, on him? Um, um, <clears throat> yeah, Jazz, Jazz is like – he's um deceptively strong, eh? He's – I think – Yeah. Like they've got these, yes. they've got their strength and um, numbers, like who can bench the most and squat the most and whatever. And I'm pretty sure he's like up in the top three, or he was up in the gym at the Warriors. So he's, he's really, really strong. He's super strong, man. And he's, I think his dad was in the SAS. So he's been bred to be like this warrior, bro. Like he's got the <laughs> warrior mentality, you know? He's, um, yeah, he's bred to be tough. 
And I thought he went well all the way up until like uh, the ball hit him in the ass when he was running that line again <laughs> right. on the line. I did it. The ball hit him. Oh, the him. I was wondering yeah, who that was. was. His, his big glutes, hit him bro. In the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 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 squat, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> last, last time I saw Jazzy, was like, "Hey, stop!" Because I had a box of Krispy Kreme donuts, and I was eating some donuts. He's like, hey, "Stop! Stop eating donuts!" While I, was, I was watching him play New South Wales Cup, mate. <laughs> funny, perhaps you better stop eating some donuts, eh? With that, with that badass. Yeah. The ball hit him. Put a <laughs> Jazz. Yeah, no, I was I wondering what was happened there with Jazz's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, think it was his ass, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, his ass. I, I um, thought he played awesome, bro. I thought he played good nah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, come out there, done a solid job. He's an old head now, bro. So, um, yeah, yeah. he's he done a real good job, and I, I probably would give him a seven, bro, for me, and I, I would put him on the bench next week as well. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah. I, I agree, I agree, and I think um, the change from Lustig dropping out, I think, was kind of. They needed Jazz to yeah fill that that third spot, and then CHT was yeah I thought that was part of why I think he made it in, mm. and uh, credit to him, just a massive shift, um, <clears throat> yeah, and uh, just wiping kind of and I know he's got those errors, but that, uh, again similar to CHT where people are holding holding these things against our players from the past, yeah, like mm. CHT has got so much flack from people that I've engaged with. And to see him do a job like that, you know, and then same for Jazz the last two weeks doing the job they've done. Mm-hmm. Like you just can't hold those things against them all the time, you know, and you can't always fall back. People love to fall back on those generic, oh, you know, he's an error-ridden player or whatever it is, you know. Exactly. Um, but, yeah. Um, Bunty, thoughts on um, Bunty? Yeah, I thought he was good. I thought he got through his work and all that. Um you know, just Bunty just does what Bunty does. He's so sturdy when he comes on and all that. Um, you know, yeah, I, I think he just, he fills a hole there of just like being that guy that's going to get through your minutes and stuff where we rejuvenate. Like you, you got AFB and Barnett coming uh, off. And then when we bring those boys on, our strike comes back through. So um, I thought it was solid. I thought it was very, very solid. So I, I'd give him probably what, like a seven, a seven and eight, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Josh, where you at with... Yeah. With Bunty, and was it the right move over Ali, you think? Yeah, no, def- <clears throat> definitely Ali's not. Ali's tough. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, Ali's Ali's the guy, like he's in the, he's in the love dungeon with, with Barney for me, bro. Um, <laughs> no, no, I like Bunty, bro. I thought he was solid. I thought he was solid tonight. He didn't, he didn't do anything wrong. Like he didn't. He didn't do anything super awesome, and he didn't do anything super wrong. So I'm with you, bro. I'll probably give him an honest seven and a half. Uh, he would yeah. probably he'd, he'd get a ride home from training for me. Um, if I had a space heat <laughs> in the car, he, he would get no a ride ice home. Cream? Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, ice no ice cream. Definitely no. In the back no of ice cream. cream. <laughs> yeah. Almost get an ice cream with I'm flake in the bro. <laughs> <laughs> if if Bunty was a car, if Bunty was a car, what kind of car would oh, Bunty no. be? Be nice too, because Bunty might uh, Bunty might hear this and see this. So we've got to be like, what would he? A V Dub Beetle? Come on, boys. That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Toyota, Toyota Corolla. Oh, I keep it a Toyota form, but. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, what is this? Not the tricycle. What's the one wheel one? <laughs> the tricycle. <laughs> not the tricycle. <laughs> what's, what's the one with the one wheel? <laughs> the the clowns. A, uni- <laughs> a unicycle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> nah, that's sad. Nah, no one. <laughs> Oh, mate. Savage, savage, savage. No, no, savage. See, see, Josh set me up. Bunty, if you saw that, we, we, uh, Josh just set me up. Man. I, I, uh, that is not, is not a fair representation of who you are, mate. You're definitely in the Toyota range. <laughs> no Maybe ice cream. Maybe not at the uh, – Somewhere in there. <laughs> no ice cream. Yeah, no ice cream, bro. No ice cream. <laughs> um, and then who's uh, – who else did – oh, Marata. Interesting shift. Not mm. – not, I suppose, what we, well, for me personally, not suppose what I was envisioning it would be like. Um, but Ash, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I'll, I'll just give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, you know, it's the first game back and all that. Like, he didn't really, like, he looked like, I don't know, he still looked strong and stuff. But, like, obviously, he, he didn't do anything that was like, oh, you know, 
like what we saw in the preseason. We're like, oh, yeah, all right, here we go. We're going to see this. So um, give him a couple of weeks. I reckon he'll grow to be that impact forward that, um, you know, those moments like we were touching on with AFB later on in the game where Webby where puts him on and it just changed momentum. I feel like he can definitely be that guy. He'll grow into that guy yeah. that um, when AFB comes off and we need to continue with the momentum like him and Dylan when uh, Walker is back in that. Uh, that's when I'll really, you know, take note on how he's really traveling. So um, I just felt like the Knights really got their tails up for a period there where he definitely came on and it was really tough to see him. Yep. He didn't really change too much, to be yeah. honest. So we'll see that in future, I hope. Yeah. What thoughts, um, Josh, on, on, on what oh. oh, no, I'm just a new quarter. Um Yeah, I think, I think he went through his processes, bro, and just wanted to nail that first. Mm. So... Yeah, you know, he would have just gone through his time. I run properly, hands out, catch the ball, take the hit, yeah. land on my knees, get up fast, play the ball. Then I think he yeah. just would have gone through that. That's a tick for him. I think his defense, he would have done the same thing, just defend strong, tick for me. Yeah. So I think he gets a tick. Definitely gets a ride home um, in the van today in the Tarago van. He's and that's what he is, by the way. He was a car. He's a Toyota Tarago. Jesus, Tarago. Awesome. a lot of stuff can happen. He's a Tarago, bro. He just yeah. Everybody wants one. Everybody needs one. <laughs> like it's um. He's taking everybody to church. Like he's uh, yeah. He yeah. He's, he's, he's getting a ride home. He's getting a, an ice cream, and he's also going to get a flake. With a little bit of sprinkles oh, on it because he's wow, wow, bro. Bunty's looking right. now and going, like, What have I got to do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what have I got to do to get ice cream? Uh, <laughs> he's, eating donuts he's getting the over second, <laughs> he's getting a couple of licks after from old what's his name? Hey, you want some, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he the Marta don't like the flake, so he pulls out the flake, gives him the flake. On the cone, bro. Here's the coat, yeah, pulls the flake out. It's a cone, bro. You have the cone, savage, you two. Oh, savage. <laughs> <laughs> happy oh, easter brother happy easter. <laughs> oh, he's probably like i'm lactose intolerant anyway <laughs> no, i can't have dairy i'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> um well yeah that wraps up i think a pretty um fair um oh our best thoughts on our player ratings um i want to quickly just while we're here i know it's kind of off topic but uh, I, I did see the bro detroit put up a question maybe it's something we won't deep dive into but just off the top of the head who's your guys warriors mount rushmore oh, what four guys all times represent the warriors the most or make you think of the warriors oh. it's not i don't want to deep dive into it. i don't want to get too sidetracked but if you guys can rattle off four straight away um yeah what's your thoughts stacy's got to be there yeah for me, I, I gotta have I gotta have SJ for me personally, mm -hmm. and then it's like it's tough, man. Because oh, I love I love me some oh some luck, Michael Luck. Mm. I love um, what Mannering Mannering was incredible for the period we had him. <clears> or <throat> oh, like you know Manu Vatavai, <laughs> like the beast, yeah, big, no, no, big no, Manu's definitely. got to be around about there. I don't know. I can't really name like a full Mount Rush. I've got to take some time with that. Cause I, I think what Tohu has been doing for our team for a while has been incredible. Um, yes. If you want accomplishments like Sheck won a daily M under our squad as well. Like it's tough, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. tough. That's really, really tough. What's your thoughts, Joshy? Give us some names, bro. Give us some names. Oh, bro. It's, it's hard. Eh? It's like having a four seater car and you've got six kids, you know, <laughs> two of you guys got to get ice cream. <laughs> I don't want to leave anyone else. <laughs> Can you guys get to the car theme tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know. Daniel Anderson? I, I think um, Daniel Anderson, the no, coach? I, I was about, I to, I was about mm, to say that. Yeah, yeah. As a, yeah. yeah, I think as, he as a coach, changed probably, the yeah. way. Yeah. He changed the way that the Warriors were through that early 2000 period. Oh, yeah. Kevin Campion. Um, Kevin Campion. James Maloney. Oh, you know, John mm. Kerwin came to mind. Mark Ellis as well. Um, but <laughs> Ellis? <laughs> he just came to mind. They're not going to be there. Lee Owner Ryan. Owner Ryan. Lee Ryan. Sam Tompkins. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a hard one. But, yeah. <laughs> hard one. SJ and, oh, and Stacey, oh. yeah. Yeah. SJ and Stacey yeah, for me. SJ and yeah, Stacey do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they've definitely got those two spots. I wonder if Tohu, I mean, me and Josh have talked about it. I think Tohu supersedes Mannering if he gets a premiership. Mm. Yeah. 
Well, they're gonna do a combined you. like yeah. a combined thirteen or something like that. I reckon that'll be awesome. Yeah, Detroit man, why are you doing this to us, bro? We, we'll, we'll, oh. we'll do a combined at some stage. <laughs> yeah. We've got a bit of time, but yeah, I think it's we're gonna lock in two. I think we're gonna say Stacy and SJ right now. Hundred percent. And if I could lock in a, a coach, it would be Anderson. And I think by the end of his time, Webster will Webby. be. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, Cleary those three, in, in a certain way, Cleary, Anderson, and uh, Webster will have their own. And Frank Endicott will be. I'm just <laughs> Nathan Brown. <laughs> oh, that was a good time. Oh, all right. Okay, but yeah, we'll, we'll move on. Um, um, where are we going? Uh, let's talk about just overall where we're at. I mean, we're four games completed. Mm-hmm. Um, how how are we feeling? <laughs> Positives, maybe negatives from the game. And moving forward into a rabbits game, um, uh, what's your th- how are you guys feeling? Yeah, yeah, very, very positive about the squad. Uh, I still like with all these performances that we're getting wins. You still see like the growth that we still have. We see the potential in periods. Like um, we had periods in all our games where we turn the switch on and we'll like we look like we're going to be something really, really special, and that will come probably another couple of like five weeks or whatever. Hopefully during mid-season, we'll really put it together and get a nice little winning streak and all that, which we're two wins on shot now. So, and the Rabbits at the moment, they they look like a team where I feel like I, I, we could really do some damage. I don't want to say the same thing as what we said with the Knights and that, but I still don't think they're over that little hump and whatever Demetrio is doing and all that. I think we can, we can really worry them put some points on them so um with the overall squad i think we're building really nicely uh we've seen every performance that we look great we look like a team that's contending for the top four uh once we put it together i think we can be a premiership threat this year i really do yeah mm. josh you're feeling similar Ooh. yeah def- well i've been watching the la the whole round this round and um yeah i watched just looking at some of the other teams, like I watched Manly yesterday as well, and like mm. Manly were terrible, bro. And for, for, yeah, like Manly was a dark horse for me, man. And just at this given point in time, if we were to pick a top four, the Warriors for me are definitely there in that, in yep, that top yep. four spot. If, if, if yep. the top four was to get picked now for, for a finals, um, I think we'll get better as we go along. I'm pretty confident going into this Rabbits game, bro, because like they. They were average, bro, against the Bulldogs. And the they Bulldog, were. the Bulldogs played an average game as well, bro. They played real. They should have dominated them for such a strong team, like the Rabbits, bro. They, mm-hmm. if I'm a Rabbit supporter, um, I'd be going out to buy myself a Warriors jersey right now uh, because <laughs> your team. Oh. <laughs> I got a couple of spares, you know, four XL. If anybody <laughs> needs one, um, around the waist area. They, yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we're honestly gonna pump them, bro. I think they're in a lot of trouble. The rabbits. I do yeah. too. Yeah, I think. I do yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the same. I, I, I just think we've we've done so well. If you look at the overall performances, even including probably from the Melbourne game through to where we are now, mm-hmm. um, we're finding ways to win. Even when teams are teams are kind of keyed in on our attack a little bit. Yeah, I love the tries. Obviously, last week the Metcalf one, and then. This week, obviously, Montoya was, you know, we haven't really seen much of that cross-field bomb, you know, try scoring. So it's nice to see we're finding ways to score points in the untraditional ways. You know, we in I, I credit to the Knights. I thought they had a really good, solid overall game plan, similar yeah. to Canberra. I think overall they did a pretty good job. But I just credit to our team. And, and then the next part is the depth is, like, being activated massively. Um and you and you're saying now Marata's back, he'll probably be okay. Hopefully, CNK once he comes back in, that will settle down, and then RTS will move back to to center. Mm. But to see guys like Pompey coming for literally just coming for eighty minutes, do a job, move yep. out. Tane did a good job. Yep, you know, dropped out. Um, like I just think that our depth at Jazz again, another example. Ali, even you know. These yep. guys are all just doing good, really good, solid jobs. It's credit to the whole system. And I know that's what they, they talked about from day dot was everyone was going to be playing the same system at all grades. Eh? It was like SG Ball, New South Wales Cup. So it's like not too difficult for these guys to come in and they know what the, the calls are, communications, comms, everything. So I think we probably have one of the better depth teams 
in the league, and it's probably going to help us to, to cement that top four. Because I'm the same with you. I'm so shocked. Well, I thought the Rabbits were just going to naturally pick up off a yeah. bad year. Manly fell into a shell. I never, I didn't even think that was possible against the Dragons. They literally just fell off. Yeah, and stopped mm-hmm. believing in what they were doing. And I was like, well, that's a really bad sign for a team to to really pretty much quit. I felt mm-hmm. this yeah. early in the season. Yeah, <laughs> especially an experienced now, team like the like yeah. Seagulls. They were, yeah, and they just literally just shut down. Like they they were like, oh, it's not working. Um, and I, I felt like, well, that's a, a massive tell early in the season that they're not quite there yet. Um, yep. Then you, yeah, you're talking about the Rabbitohs performance. Roosters probably the only team I'm now they're kind of finding themselves in in that really good spot. Um, and then you, if you tie them in with the Broncos, I think again will will always be strong based off of their attack and that type of thing. Panthers, Panthers then you, then you're probably seeing us as that definitely in the mix. So yeah, I think we we're looking really good, and it's because of that depth. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts anyway. Yeah, it's going to be um, incredible. Like when we get back to like full, full strength too, like as you're touching on there, like with Sheck going back to center, Chance going to fullback, um, Murata back in the side, um, Egan's back to back in the side as well. Yeah. So like our bench next week, like I don't know what the the best bench, what we could put together in general. I think there's so many different ways we can really go about it. Like whether Lusick finds his way back into a 14 role there or we just run with Jazzy, Walker, if Walker's all good. Um, you know, Chanel being in there. I know we're missing Mets, but bro, like it's it's really looking really, really nice. And I just really credit the game plan too. Like the game plan looks good. The boys yep. are running the game plan, but when we click in the gear, like that's when we're gonna see the boys take to a whole different level. So like yeah, I'm I'm just really, really impressed where we're sitting at the moment. Like if I'm thinking of other teams as we touched on before, I think the Panthers look incredible already very early on yeah um the broncos i think the melbourne storm for all the stuff they're going through with no monster no nas and that i think they look really really good this year uh even though losing to the knights last week they had no jerome hughes and that as well i think they're just going to be just as well and the roosters and all that but i'd say we're just up there with those guys 100 percent. i think we look just as good yeah. um around about yeah. there I, I think also um just quickly is the, is the trap games will be harder this year Mm. Um, like the, the the Bulldogs, the Dragons, the Tigers games won't be easy beats. No, I don't really? feel this year. No, like they'll be a little bit trickier than what they were last year. Yep. So I, I just think we're gonna be just on pretty much a, a, a lot this year. I think there's kind of there's like a leveling of a playoff field, and yeah. those teams that are kind of dipping the Seagulls, the the Rabbits, and they'll be there. The Sharks will probably come up and ebbs and flows. Yep. So we're just going to be just solid, I think, the whole year round. Um, but um, yeah, other other talking points from the game or how, anything else that we need to be aware of, guys? No, no, very very solid run. Um, good to see the boys just get another win, huh? And um, onto the the rabbits next week, bro. I think yeah, legit. There's I sniff something there. We can we can really do some damage against these rabbits next week, and it's a game that we wanted to win from last year. So. Hopefully Webby circled it and be like, boys, let's prove that to everyone that we're we're a better team than last year. Um, Josh, man, uh, every, everyone in the chat, there's a bit of bit of discussion around RTS. Obviously, you had a big, massive game. Uh, C and K, you know, wh- where do you sit? I mean, I'm I'm where, where do you sit with this whole uh, RTS at fullback? And is it literally? Is there a battle here? Like some people are in the chat saying, you know, uh, RTS should be the fullback. Some or is it literally, what's your thoughts? Definitely seeing K coming back in, or do you feel RTS has kind of earned a chance there? Um, I think um, I think right now, if, if Chance is, is still out next week, I think Rogers stays at fullback ahead of Tuopiki, in my yeah. opinion. I think he's a step ahead there. I think he's maybe the sec- second string fullback, but I think Chance needs to be given a chance um, first. Um, before <laughs> I think we make any any rash decisions, man. Because I I thought he if, if we just look at the back of um, last year, and I think Webby is a man of his word, bro. He's, he's got good character yeah. like that, right? He's, he's very honest. So he he's come out and said publicly that Chance is our fullback. So Chance will go to yeah. get his chance to get go back and play at fullback. And I think it's a good <laughs> thing, bro. I think it'll be a real good. He gets his chance, right? Uh, I think it's a good thing, <laughs> bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and if he was playing Monopoly, he might roll a chance. No, um, <laughs> yeah, so. The... <laughs> He forfeited. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for me, bro, um, CNK goes in, I think, for me. <laughs> CNK's our fullback. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. There's no <laughs> ch- chance. Of- <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> oh. uh, love it, love it. Uh, Ash, you have the same vein, same thought process? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, man. I, I, I can't wait till we see if Charles performs as what he did last year and in the Pacific Championship and all that, and then how have RTS at center and really grow into a center. Like, bro, I think that team looks incredible. And, you know, at the worst, if that doesn't really work, we got a daily end fullback that we could just chuck out back there. So we're in that point this year where it's just oh, the versatility, man. I think that's the, the key mm-hmm. word yeah. to our team this year. Yeah. Yep. Same here. Um, yep. So everyone just, we're on board with CNK. Absolutely. Um, all day, all day, all day. Yeah, and I think, and I go back to the game plan. I don't think the game plan was necessarily to get Roger in those link play positions fully with the amount of time. Um, I think they will kind of round out with with CNK when he comes back. Yeah, um, we should see our offense. Yeah, get to a bit more sharpness. You know, like that that type of thing. Watch, um, watch, watch Fox League just run with this narrative though. They're, they're oh yeah, they, they love it. Yeah. They're already running with the commentary team and all that sort of stuff. 360 will jump on it and be like, you know, oh, yeah, will there be a man. divide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block it like, <laughs> how is, is RTS not getting this stuff? I just can't oh. believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they don't have anyone else. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Maharaj. Okay, this one's interesting. What was this? If D Dub is, is rooted, does Kossi come back for a spin? His leg didn't look great. I don't know. Did anyone see the cup boys? I haven't um I haven't really Yeah, really... Goss Gossi Gossi looked all right today. Uh him and Ali Leotar was damaging as always. Like they, they do look like a step ahead of you know wingers that are in cup and all that. Um, and even like Graham Talfa, like he looks strong, uh, set two, two look really, really strong today as well. So, um, there's really choices, but I would say Gossi for me is my next man up, especially on that right side. Yeah. Yep. I agree, bro. Gossi's for me as well. If DWZ's yep. out, Gossi's in for me. I think he's, he's done enough to earn a spot. Yeah. Yep. Um, <clears throat> Okay, the, let's maybe just t- touch on this Metcalf, the long-term impact of it. H- how does it, I suppose, it's the definite, I th- I'd say minimum six weeks, mm, um, a big chunk of, 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 of the season. Are we comfortable to have a run of CHT for six weeks there? Um, or is there anything that would, would, would make you push TMM up, up the ranks? And what would those reasons be if CGCHT might not be doing well or so? I think um, clunkiness on that side would be a big thing where it's like if the attack doesn't really stick. But like, I don't know. I, I think CH, CHT will do a, a great job for those six weeks if he is there for six weeks and may even push to even get that role. Uh, like I love Mets and I think Mets is going to be our future. And I think Mets will probably come back in if everything runs well, if he gets a running cup and just everything runs well. Um, but just defensively, CHT is so strong. And I think that's the, probably the biggest thing that will help him over those other two boys there and all that. Um, and I think for Tomato, it's, it's definitely just to get through some cup footy and just string together a lot of really good games. Because I don't know, I, I just haven't been lit by yeah. C, uh, TMM in cup mm. at the moment. Like, I, I love him as a player. I think he's incredible. Um, it's just, I feel like he's on a little bit of a down patch at the moment, but he'll, he'll build back up. Yeah. Um, mm. the left the left footed kick as well was another nice mm. Um, mm. element. I've always been big on that. I, I've well, from my observations of uh, the Luai, the Munster, uh, Cody Walker, it just adds a nice element to it. Do you think that will that will be? I mean, part of the reason why we 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 keep CHT and do you, what's your thoughts, Josh, on him, him overall having a good run? Do you think he'll have yep. a good run in his next six weeks at least? Yeah, definitely, bro. He's um. So CHT has been in he's been in the Warriors system since he was like 16, 17. Mm-hmm. And I was watching the preseason when they're um 
coming back to training preseason, and Roger and CHT were two faces that I recognised. So they, you know how it goes in order. Like you have the the rookie players come first, and then you'll get some other players. Then your international players might come back, and they they, they don't all come back at once. So to yep. see um, CHT and Roger come back, like Roger's an All Black, bro. Like and CHT's yeah. been in the system for how long? He could have had that ego to go, nah, you know what, man? I don't I don't need to. I'm I'm that good. But now nah, he's starting that. I don't know. That just sings volumes for me, bro. And I think he'll that he will reflect in the way that he plays. And I think I feel like he he's got that. I think he's our, our Jerome Luai. Like I think he he just he fits that mold. I think he does. And uh, we does. might have to. Yeah, we might have to change our play a bit. But um, I think, I so think he'll sit in, Yeah, I think we change our structure a little bit. Um, but yeah, Tamaide hasn't really. I don't know, bro. I think he's been hunting and fishing too much, brother. Like. Just, yeah, just he's got the boat and all that now. <laughs> wait, till you reti- wait till you retire, brother. Like, nobody needs any canoes or anything, bro. <laughs> we don't need to go. Nobody needs some eels. Nobody needs some pig, like, or some stags. Like, just, bro, wait. <laughs> wait till you retire. Um, and, and then go fishing. <laughs> but, yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't done enough, bro, to set the world on fire to say, like, you know, I deserve no. to have the spot. Whereas, yeah, CHT has, in my opinion. I yeah. do agree. I agree with what you're saying with like the Luai look at like, that's the one thing CHT, he always had that little thing of like, he could pull something out of his ass out of nowhere, mm. especially with his passing game, his kicking game. Like um, he always had these like little touches that just go, oh, well, like, where did that come from? Like example, the scorpion kick, like where the hell oh. did that come from? Like yeah. he just has the these scorpion. moments in him where it's just like, <laughs> why? <laughs> you know what I mean? But it happens and it works. And I feel like Luai is very similar, like off the cuff, when things don't go, away, he'll bounce around and all that sort of stuff. Where Mets yeah. is such a running um, six, like a fullback type of look, where Chanel is more of a traditional like half. So he, he I'm is. really excited to see how that goes. I think CH2 will square it up. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see that side straighten up a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and, and got to remember too, we haven't seen it with Roger, which mm. is another thing that's going to be, I think people it might take a few by surprise. Yep. Would love to see that oh, yeah. that side get humming as well. Well, look at it in preseason too. That was it the Charles game that they were yeah, on the same yeah, side, Rog, early yeah. ball all the time. And I think that would be really good for Rog on that side. Yeah, I I, th- I think he's. If you look when I picture CHT, I always picture him like his body straight and then passing. Whereas when I see Metcalf, his body's turned a lot of the mm. time to pass. Yeah. So I mm. think CHT will have that natural kind of um, he kind of kind of like SJ in terms of how he goes into the line and then will. Yeah, turn yeah. turn and pass it. Whereas I think yeah, like we're saying, Metcalf has that running element that wants to activate that as well. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that side sort of starts to get a bit more humming and yeah. with the RTS as well. So yeah, um, okay, man, we're done. Yeah, we're, we're nearly at two hours here. Seventy people. If you are here, please Ooh. give us a like and subscribe. And if you're on Ash Thomas's channel as well, please do that. We appreciate you guys hanging around. Um, have we got any other questions or topics, guys, that we need to cover before we wrap up? Um, I feel we've done a very thorough investigation of, of the job. Referees, any issues with the referees, uh, Josh? <laughs> oh, God. Like, I'm just happy that they've worked out forward passes, bro, because I don't want to keep going back to it. But old mate Tom Brady for the Broncos last year, like I'm, I'm just happy – out of all the technology in the world, bro, like we, we put people on the moon and now we can work out a Ford Pass. <laughs> oh, we've, we've made it. We've, we're taking a step forward. Um, no, I thought the ref was all right, bro. He, it, it went either way. He made a few calls that were a bit like, uh, either way. But I, I thought overall yeah. there wasn't anything that made me like send them a, a real nasty email in bold letters. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, they're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, I think that's I can't think of anything else. Are you guys pretty happy with what we've done so far? Yeah, I just want a ice cream from Joshy. Yeah. <laughs> Mecca's yeah. run with Josh. Up. Um, get us in the Rago, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's a faithful to Rago. Shout out to everybody out there with a Rago. <laughs> Better give me a flake, too, bro. I think I deserved that little flake. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whoa, Easter. Come on, mate. We gotta earn Spoil me. I'm just going to throwing out flakes to everybody, buddy. Like this is an open <laughs> Winfrey. You get a flake. You get a flake. 
<laughs> and we'll, we'll have to do a, a, a full credit um, from from a Mecca's one time. <laughs> yeah, from a Mecca's one. <laughs> one. Free, free Wi Fi. <laughs> He's got free Wi Fi at Mecca's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be able to have a good uh, stream there. It'll be really um, okay, embarrassing guys, if I go to my one and uh, they go, hey, Josh, you're back. Sorry, carry on. Carry on. We'll put a show. <laughs> well, we learned tonight, bro, where you go after these games here. <laughs> so, <laughs> Oh, Jackson Ford. Sorry, man. We missed you. I think I think you were here. Jacko. Good to see you, Jacko. Good game, mate. Well, good try. game. Enjoy good it, game, Jacko. And, yeah, good on you, buddy. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Thank you again for coming along to full credit to the boys um as for programming uh, i think me and you josh on tomorrow night we'll touch yes. more on it um and, and get into things and then ash is back for all you can eat uh on tuesday Wh when's our game is it next saturday or is it a sunday game next um, saturday my brother oh saturday what time are we talking here uh same time i think bro same time. So okay oh well we'll be on we'll be on again for full credit uh next week guys um it's or an hour earlier two o'clock i think so there you go oh, two yes, Australian, so probably, whatever that is probably about time. seven thirty. i might we might do 8 30 give us a breather get us some meccas before we start um <laughs> <laughs> go get a soft serve um yeah but we'll, we'll be back anyway saturday night um for that one but thank you everyone for being in here we'll catch you later um thank you my, my brothers ash and and josh Appreciate you. you guys as always, guys. And uh, yeah, if you before you leave, guys, give us a like and a subscribe onto Ash's page, my page, uh, Josh's uh, page as well. We appreciate you guys' support. Up, Up the, the was.